Hi, I'm Cal Van Doren, a field application engineer here at AGI. I'm Alex, also an engineer. And I'm John Thompson, also an engineer. Today we're going to be going over the newly improved uh, and always really... Nope, that's... What, are, what, are, what is it? What is the GitHub? A repository of yeah. code examples. Okay, great. <laughs> Go ahead, Cal. <laughs> also, we both said our last names and you said <laughs> Alex. <laughs> I'm off the are grid. you like Cher? Off the grid. <laughs> <Just> yeah. <laughs> one name? Monomer. Hi, I'm Cal, an engineer here at AGI. I'm Alex, also an engineer. And I'm John also an engineer. And together we make up the GitHub team. We're here today to talk about the new reorganization that we did on our GitHub that's enabling customers to work more directly with engineers on their actual code to integrate with SDK. You can see here on the screen our home page. So that's Analytical Graphics Inc. SDK Code Examples. So these are code examples made exactly for SDK. You can see here we have these four folders on the left, automation, engine applications, and extension plugins, and UI plugins. John, what do these four folders contain? Yeah, so the automation folders are you walking through scripts that will automate the actual SDK UI. Engine applications are using the back end of SDK while being able to create custom applications. Uh, extension plugins and UI plugins are the ability to extend the computational power of SDK as well as adding extra GUI uh, panels. So we're going to start with an example. We're just going to go ahead to SDK automation, take a look at what is actually in these folders. So here we can see a high level readme. Uh, Cal, what else is in this folder? Well, what you'll find is that we have uh, different flavors of code for, you know, whatever your personal uh, style of choice is there, Alex. We have a lot of C sharp. HTML, we even dabble in quite a bit of MATLAB, Python, VBScript, all the different languages that you might want to use to integrate with SDK. We have, uh, we have code examples for those. And so we organize within these subfolders by coding language. And then if you go into one of those for me, for example, MATLAB, you'll notice that each of these folders will have the same set of four subfolders, which is general utilities, problem specific, scenario analysis, and scenario building. And so we as engineers have gone in and organized our entire code base based on these four subcategories. And we're asking all of those that contribute to the code base uh, to, to also categorize their code in, in this way. John, do you have a specific script in the MATLAB folder that you enjoy? we can take a look at? Um, one of the most useful scripts that I typically use is in the general utilities folder. There's a filter objects by type, I believe it is called. And so this uh, will allow you to pass a scenario to this script, and you will get back a array of all of the specific object that you requested. So if you want an array of all of the satellite objects or an array of all sensor objects that are in your scenario, you will get back an array that feeds you those. Um, so most of these scripts you'll see have a description below them, have a couple of examples of how to use that, and um, anything that is in the general utilities is typically utilized by other scripts throughout the repository. You'll see that in every language folder as well, uh, with all of these scripts that are contained within it, there's a readme that includes a short description, uh, any other scripts, just like John was saying, and also the licenses that might be required, um, and any scenarios that would be good to use with the script. And so that's kind of an overview of just what the automation folder looks like. Uh, the engine and extension plugin folders will look very similar to this. But um, beyond that, we would love for anybody to contribute to this, to bring in other code, to bring in anything that is shareable and would be utilized by uh, SDK users wide. If you're looking to download any of the code, you can click this code button, the green code button on your page, on your GitHub instance. You can go ahead and actually clone the repository. Uh, so that's what we've all done on our side, all of our engineers that are using the GitHub for, as a repository for their scripts and for their programs. They've gone ahead and cloned it locally on their machine. If I minimize this window and pull up the desktop version of GitHub, You can see here that I have it cloned. I can actually right click this and show an explorer. You can see that 
everything is actually mimicked, so everything we just took a look at on the GitHub page is going to be mimicked on my local machine in File Explorer. Uh, so we can go back down SDK automation. All the readmes are also still here. If I go to MATLAB, this is an updated. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, always remember, <laughs> always remember to pull the remote repository. Anyway, <laughs> always. Anyway, it's all here. Yep. Um, I cannot believe that's a, that's pretty brutal. Hey, John, what's your favorite coding language? Pearl. Python. <laughs> hey, Alex, what's your favorite coding language? Python. <laughs> MATLAB. No one asked. Okay. I know. If you click the code button here on your local instance of GitHub, you will see that there are a couple of options. Uh, you can clone this repository, which will uh, bring all of the files local, but also allow you to keep it up to date. So as we add new scripts, change scripts, um, update them for new versions of SDK, you will always be able to have that. And then there's also just a download zip button. So if you're trying to sneak or net this up, or if you just want a local version of what is currently on the GitHub page, you can have that. We thoroughly encourage all the users, if you write code to integrate with SDK, to consider contributing it to the GitHub. Um, more than likely, you'll get one of the three of us review reviewing your commit if you decide to commit something. And there are a few things that you should really keep in mind to make sure that you know, we can effectively integrate your code into the, the user code base on the GitHub. First and foremost, take a look at what's already in that folder for your language and for your application area, and just make sure that you're not cannibalizing anything else that's already there. We don't want to clutter the GitHub with a lot of examples of the same functionality or the same tool used in you know, just slightly different ways. Um, we really want to have every example on there be able to, to speak for a pretty unique use case that we're not cluttering up the code. The second thing is that you will uh, most certainly have your, your commit pushed back if you don't edit the readme that corresponds to the folder that you're committing your file to and make sure you keep the readme format in the format that's already been established. Mm -hmm. So we have um, links to the, the licenses that are required for each of your, uh, each of the features that you use within your script, and, uh, and we also have a, a short description and make sure that you're, you're denoting any scenarios that are needed to run with your script and also any other scripts that your script relies on. So we, we're big fans of using the general utilities folder for scripts that you find you're using over and over. Or if there's some uh, block of code that you're using in many of your scripts, consider turning that into a function and putting it in general utilities and then referencing it mm -hmm. as a best coding practice. And I'll just quickly add to that that um, if some of that does sound intimidating, you haven't used GitHub before or anything like that, um, feel free to contact support. Uh, so that's support at AGI.com or call us as well. And we'll help you walk through that process, how to get your code up there, how to make things a little more reusable. And if you just have questions about what is currently up here, you can also do that. And go ahead and call support. The number is going to be right here. <laughs> All right, um, do, we, I, do we need an outro? I don't know. Is that it? I think that was pretty JT, much JT, who's outro. your favorite coder in history? What kind of question is if that? It's